All right, I gotta prepare myself for this, y'all. <clears throat> Before I get into this reaction, well, this video reaction, um, not actually the video footage from the 2001 9-11 attacks. I never watched this uh, particular uh, video that I'm about to see. Well, and you know, it's getting close to 9-11. And every year, people always go back and rewatch this stuff just to, you know, remind everyone of this tragic thing that happened alone, you know, 20 plus years ago. It doesn't even seem like that long ago. If I remember when it happened, where I was at, and You know, it's crazy that uh, all those people that were lost that particular day, all the firemen, all the police officers, I mean, everyone who was out there helping and everyone who died, it it was just, it, it was horrific. It, it was tragic. You know, even watching it, I already know I'm going to feel some type of way. Because if you don't feel some type of way, then something is seriously wrong with you. And this isn't something that I usually react to. But like I say, it's getting close to 9-11. And it's my way of, you know, paying my respects, you know, reliving that experience for people who haven't, who haven't seen it. So y'all can know what really happened, how bad it was. If you have not seen footage of that day, brace yourself. Brace yourself. It's not for everyone. So if you don't think you can handle it, please don't even watch this reaction. I'm not even worried. Like it was, it won't bother me one bit. If you decide to, no, I'm not gonna watch this. It's not for everyone. It truly, it's not. I'm not even gonna do my intro because this is something that I take very seriously. But I'm about to jump into this because this is my first time watching this. So let's go, y'all. The following program is made from news footage and an amateur video broadcast or recorded on September 11, 2001. <clears throat> It contains scenes and language that may disturb some viewers. Something somebody hit uh, the World Trade Center or the, it's a trade, guess, center. the World trade, trade Center. Center. <clears throat> yeah. This just in, you are looking at we have a breaking news story very to disturbing tell you about. Out there. That is the know. World Trade as Center, and we, we just have unconfirmed reports this morning to explain and crash. As we come on out, we have serious news of a major and very tragic incredible You know, that day everything stopped. Everything, everything that was being played on TV, everything stopped. Only thing you were seeing was this on all the channels. It, it's a day to remember. I'm telling you, it was so damn scary. You thought the world was ending. You actually thought it was going to be an attack on all the cities in America. It was that scary. Especially when a Pentagon got hit, you was like, "Oh shit, these motherfuckers do not care." It's getting to the point where they just gonna hit everything. I just heard a loud boom. You, you did? Was it a plane?
That's what I was thinking. It was a terrorist attack. Immediately, there's speculation or cause for concern. This is the World Trade Center that was the center of a terrorist bombing right. some years ago. So the questions have to be asked, was this a purely an accident or could this have been an intentional act? But either way, extensive damage. What's this other jet doing? What's what this other jet doing? That? Look at that. Holy oh, my God. God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Looks like six, seven floors were taken out. And there's more oh, there's, explosions oh, right now. Hold on, people are running. Wait, hold, so, on. hold on just a moment. We've got an explosion inside. The building's that... exploding right now. You got people running up the street. Okay. Hold on, I'll tell you what's going on. Right. Oh my God. Another plane has just hit. It hit another building. Flew right into the middle of it. Explosion. Oh my God. It's right in the middle of the building. Open your book up to lesson. Could you imagine standing under that, under a huge skyscraper, and that happens like right in front of you, a huge fucking plane crash into a building? You looking up and you see that. Man. Sixty on page one fifty three. <laughs> So, so was Bush no? See this I didn't know. So Bush was at a school when this happened. So he had to sit there and act like everything was calm. The, he, I'm pretty sure he just got the news and he had to sit there. Wow, because he went in front of kids. Wow. Usually I thought they would like rush a president out of there for something like that. If it was an attack, they just won't let him sit there. So I don't know if they this was edited or something, but usually wouldn't they rush a the president out of there? At the count of three, everyone should be on page one fifty three. <laughs> Mom, another plane just crashed into other World Trade Center. Another plane hit it. A jet, a jumbo jet. I'm so scared. I'm leaving. I'm no, I don't. Don't, don't make it. You can't. Bye. I love you. Megan, Mom, I'm in care. I'm getting the. Oh, please, please, wait for me. We do have some videotape uh -oh. of the second plane, and you can oh, see it there. No. Where? Oh, I didn't no. see it. Here's oh, plugging. whoa! Oh, this my is God. crazy. No. We We're under attack. Going into and building. And from our vantage point, yeah, clearly difficult to tell. We're under attack. Uh, what type of plane that is? But it's a horrific scene. That's and oh all right, we've just been told God. also, Michael, sorry, the New York Stock Exchange is, is being evacuated, as is, I'm sure, much of Wall Street, <gasps> if not all of it, as, as much as possible. But the New York Stock Exchange has suspended trading for the it's moment. It's war. Uh, today, we've had a national tragedy. Uh, two airplanes have crashed into the World Trade Center in an apparent terrorist attack on our country. Pentagon. David, I'm sorry to interrupt you, but we're looking at live pictures of the Pentagon where there is billowing smoke. Mick, Jim Miklaszewski just reported that he heard of an explosion, and right now we're looking at an aerial view of the Pentagon. There are reports of the Pentagon has been evacuated, and the White House is being evacuated. Many, many years. However, I'd be very, very cautious. All of the airports across the country have been shut down. All flights have been canceled for another seven hours, which is about five o'clock Eastern time, and then we'll reignite there. We'll take a look what's going on after that. The probability of extension, as they call that, is is high. Take two. Take two and two. One. This is as close as we can get to the base of the World Trade Center. You can see the firemen assembled here, the police officers, FBI agents, and you can see the two towers. A oh huge explosion now raining debris on all of us. We better get out get of the, the hell up. Back. Oh my god.
Look at that shit. Oh my god, that looked like something out of a fucking horror movie, man. Damn. Look at that fucking smoke. That's like a damn volcano erupting. Look at... That is fucking terrifying. I hope I live. I hope I live. It's coming down on me. Here it comes. Jesus. Get behind the car. Anthony, you okay? Yeah. Oh my god. Look at that shit. that I can't see that second tower, but you, there was a cascade of sparks and fire, and now this it looks almost like a mushroom cloud explosion, this huge billowing smoke in the second tower. This was the second of the two towers hit. Now this is a, this is what it looked like moments ago. My God. Yeah. The uh, remains of a airplane crash over on uh, Lambertsville Road, and probably had a terrorist uh, bomb on board that blew up. Uh, I don't know anything more than that. That's what I heard on the scanner. I just saw the smoke come up, and uh, so it was another. The, the uh, explosion what? shook the house clear over here, and we are what? 15 miles from Lambertsville. In Washington, there, has, there is a large fire at the Pentagon. The Pentagon has been evacuated. And there, as you can see, perhaps the second tower, the front tower, mm. the top portion of which is collapsing. Good Lord. There are no words. We have a report that a 747 uh, is down in Pennsylvania, and that remains unconfirmed at this point, and so we will check on that. Good evening. Today, our fellow citizens, our way of life, our very freedom came under attack in a series of deliberate and deadly terrorist acts. Thousands of lives were suddenly ended by evil, despicable acts of terror. These acts of mass murder were intended to frighten our nation into chaos and retreat. But they have failed. Our country is strong. A great people has been moved to defend a great nation. The search is underway for those who are behind these evil acts. I've directed the full resources of our intelligence and law enforcement communities to find those responsible and to bring them to justice. We will make no distinction between the terrorists who committed these acts and those who harbored them. No! 
knock these buildings down, we'll hear all of us soon. I don't even know if uh, YouTube is going to allow me to post this up because it's been so long. They probably don't want a lot of people to relive it. <clears throat> it's not a lot you can really say because you don't want to say something that's going to make someone feel some type of way because everyone felt different on that you know when it comes to this that particular day a lot of people had loved ones that they lost that day and it's hard to go back to that but I know I had to because this is my way of showing you know paying respect to everyone that was lost to get people to who have not watched it or seen you know that awful awful day yeah now y'all able to see what happened and see what those people went through and you know kudos to those people who actually recorded it just i can't even imagine i can't imagine standing up with a video camera and recording all of that but i know if i had my recorder on doing that time I would have did the same thing it would have been hard but you know that's something that you had to capture you know like I said it's getting close and to 9-11 and you're going to hear a lot of people talking about it you're going to see it all on you know, YouTube again It still fucks with you because all the people that were lost that day it, 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 it's just sad you know now these people been gone for 20 plus years they you know they were God now and kids lost that day you know people jumping out of the building because how afraid they were of getting burned alive so they decided to jump out can you can you imagine jumping out because you don't want to die that way you'll rather die your own way and you know I get tired of hearing you know I remember I used to hear people saying well I would have did it too man you don't know what the fuck you would have did going through that shit you don't know where your head would be at it's easy to say that shit if you wasn't in that situation I I don't know I don't know I don't know if I would have tried to find a way to get out or jump out myself because from what I heard they're all like everything was blocked there was no way to get through that's why you lost a lot of firemen that damn police officer because they were trying to find a way through and they end up losing their lives especially when the building collapsed I mean imagine running in there trying to help people that were stuck and the building collapsed dead on top of you and I heard that there were bodies like buried up on all of that foot for a long time from well, I don't know if it was days or weeks I don't, I'm not sure I have to uh, read back on that again but I know there were bodies underneath all of that rubble for a long time and you know they made several movies I watched the Nicolas Cage movie a while back and man it was intense it was intense but I'm gonna uh, leave it at that and I hope a lot of people don't feel some type of way hope I don't get a lot of negative response you know in the comment section if I do ain't really nothing I can do about that like I said I just feel like I had to do this because it's getting close to 9-11 and that's my way of showing my respect for all the people that were lost that day so hit up in the comments and let me know how y'all feel about that day if it's the, you know does it still affect you when it get close to 9-11 do you start feeling you know like the world is just gonna end like it just because it's just like thinking of a loved one that you lost.
it's nothing good about this reaction. Nothing good comes out of it. It's just something I know I had to relive, and you know, through all the through YouTube, through all the y'all can, you know, finally watch it. Who has not seen it before? But like I said, if you can, if you made it through this reaction, and you listening to me talk right now, you better than I was. Believe me, you're stronger than I was, because I don't think I would have been able to watch it. It would have been hard. It would have been hard. But as always, thank y'all for tuning in. And you already know, peace, love, and deuces.